we can go back uh, and log out of the uh, log out of uh, the tip. And I will uh, close this guy out, and I will clear the cache um, to prove to you that there isn't already a cookie stored for authentication. I'm clearing cache. I'm clearing cookies. So I will clear it now. All right. And now I can go back to right-clicking on Navigator Item, Launch, and modify this launch definition. So I select it, and now I'm going to add a space, and I'm going to do Control-V, and there's the URL. Now, this URL isn't perfect as we copied it, because it is assuming you're already, with it. You're already within the tip, as you see by this navigation.do. <clears throat> Now, in order for this to work, we need, instead of navigation.do, we need to use a, uh, what's called xlaunch, xlaunch.do, and the, it's a capital L. Um, this essentially tells the tip server that we are launching from another browser window uh, to bring up this page directly. Otherwise, it'll always just bring up the first page, the login page, or the welcome page in this case, because we wouldn't need to log in anyways. But we want to launch directly into the TCR uh, window. So we can click Apply on that. And then there's some other things we can do. We can go to the Advanced Configuration, and we can see the options here. We can uh, associate this launch definition uh, to this item only, which would be whatever item you selected in the navigator item. So that's where the launch definition would be available. We can do all items of this type. So example, if I picked a Windows OS agent, it would be available um, when you right click on any one of those Windows OS agents. Or global, which obviously means anything you click on, this launch definition will be available. And then you have the notion of selecting arguments. If I click on Browse, and I select Substitutable Items as Arguments, we see here we get a box of essentially variables that we can fill in as arguments uh, to the launch definition. And this would be helpful for filtering data once you got into whatever application you're logging into. Uh, as an example, for Tatum, I know this is, works very well. Uh, this is the launch in context portion of, uh, of TATAM, where you would select, essentially, say, object type uh, and or ID, and it would take that ID, pass it on to TATAM, and filter the data that you are viewing based on that um, parameter. So that's how the launch in context works, rather than just launching to a particular screen. And then you have the ability to edit arguments before ex execution, which essentially means that you can have defaults listed, but if you wanted to allow the user to change the defaults before launching, you would check that box. And then we have this box called Close After Launch, which essentially means after clicking the Launch button, this box right here would close, which we want. So everything is configured fine, and we should be good for launch. So let's uh, launch it. Uh, we would like to save those changes, yes. And we see here it gives us the Tivoli integrated portal and brings us right to our Tivoli common reporting and it has logged us in as Tivoli administrator. So that pretty much concludes it. I've proven it by deleting the cache and the cookies. Uh, that single sign has worked um, from the tap to the tip. This really concludes this uh, video tutorial on single sign-on. I would like to thank you for your time, and you may contact me anytime at bfisher at us.ibm.com. That's B-F-I-S-H-E-R. Uh, thanks, and I hope you have a great day.